load the game in RetroArch, press the F1 key for the guide button in your Xbox controller to access the quick menu, then scroll down or scroll up to go to shaders, turn on video shaders and go to load and load whatever shader you want to apply. I guess the shaders apply automatically and that's it. First load a shader of your choice before saving them. Go into save. If you have simple presets on this will save a shader with only the changes you make to them. It's like a shortcut to the original shaders, but contains the changes you made to them. If you don't have simple presets on, it will save the entire shader. Save shader preset as this will save a shader in the shader folder and then you can load it manually name your shader and then after you can go to load go to the shader directory and the shader is here and you can load it save global shader preset this will save the shader and every time you load the game in RetroArch, independent of what core you, you're using, it will load this shader when you start the game. So every game you play, independent of what system it is, it will always load with this shader. So let's test it out. Save global preset, then loads any other game. And the shader will also load. Save core preset. This will save the shader for the score. So every time you load the game with the score, the shader will load automatically. So let's test this out. Now I'm going to open a game with the same core. you can see that the shader has loaded automatically save content directory presets every time you load a game that is inside this directory it will load this shader automatically so if you have a game inside a folder all of those games that, that are inside it will load with the, uh, with the shader that you saved, independent of what core you're using. So let's test it out. Save content directory. Now I'm going to load another game that's inside this, this, this same folder. you can see that it loads the shader automatically. Save game presets. This is pretty much self-explanatory. Every time you load this game, the shader will also load automatically with the game. And if you want to remove the shaders, after saving, for example, a game preset or a global preset or a content directory preset, you can go back into the directory and then go to remove. And here you can remove all of your shaders. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching and happy gaming.